Hi everyone. A swimming pool is 12 meters long, 6 meters wide, and 1 meter deep at the shallow end, and 3 meters deep at the deep end. Water is being pumped into the pool at 1 half cubic meters per minute, and there's 1 meter at the deep end. So what percent of the pool is filled? And we're going to be looking at our similar triangles. So what I'm going to do is do the total volume of the pool, which is one half base times height times width, plus the um, the other end, the half of the end. So what we're going to get is <coughs> total volume of the pool No, oh, I can't spell. Volume is going to equal one half, and then you just multiply your length times width times base. Then you have to add the six, the one times six times twelve, and that's the shallow end and the deep end, and that's going to give you one forty-four meters cube. That's your total volume. Now the volume of one meter of water is just going to be one half of um, uh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. So basically <coughs> so that's going to equal one half times your 1 times 6 times 6. Alright, and that gives you 18 meters cubed. So, and you, you can look at your similar triangle dry, diagram that we did on the first slide. So for the percent of the pool field, that's going to be 18 over 144. Um, <clears throat> this should have been 144. And that's going to be times your 100%. And that's going to give you 12.5%. Now for the B part, since um, our height is in between 0 and 2, and our base equals uh, 6 H, uh, H, based on similar triangles, we have that the volume equals 1 half base times height times 6, which equals 3B times H, which equals 3 times 6H, I'm substituting, times H. And that's going to give you 18H squared. Therefore, we're going to take the derivative of the volume with respect to time, that's going to give you, take the derivative of that, you get 36H times the derivative of H with respect to time. And derivative of H with respect to time is going to be, uh, well, one-fourth. And then if we want, we can, we want to solve for derivative of H it's times the height. So the derivative of H with respect to T is going to equal 1 over 44 H. So our H is 1, so we get 1 over 44 times 1. That equals 1 over four, 144 uh, meters per minute, or just meter per minute. Okay? And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.